Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, being able to endure suffering is something that is honestly a huge part of what I think sets people apart who, like, stay in the game. You know, that's, For like, sure. so fundamental. I mean, people want to talk about, like, all the other things that are very important, talent and luck and getting your big break, but part of it is literally just being down to, like, suffer well past where other people are like, nah, I'm going to get a real job. Nah, I'm about to go do this thing. Like, I'm going to give up on this aspect. Uh, and, you know, like, love and respect to those people for sure because everybody has their own, you know, threshold for like what they're willing to take but i think that that is a huge part of you know huge trying to to make it in the creative space is yeah wanting it for yourself and being able to defer this idea of something you know what you ultimately want to do or what you ultimately want to be with you know absolutely having to take shit right now and just you know it's also a, a space where it's really hard to measure your wins because it's like a in a more conventional kind of job you can, you're provided tasks, deadlines, you do the tasks, you hit the deadlines, you got it on to the next, you could get your promotion. There's like very tangible things Facts. that happen routinely through, throughout a year you, that you can expect and project for and hit those targets every time. Whereas the creative space, it's so like when it's a win, you're like, damn, we're on. But those are so, they can be <coughs> completely spontaneous. And, and it's very hard to like between. measure those tangible wins unless it's like really big. Cause the other time is like mostly just struggling. Right. 